guys, what's up? I draw an HD at Charlie here and today we are gonna be a tutorial to gonna be doing another tutorial Tuesday and for once this time it is not on the huddle. So I guess that's a good thing. So anyway, yesterday on iDragon Gaming I uploaded a video and it was a Happy Wheels gameplay. And as you can see here in my edit workflow in um, Final Cut Pro 10, you can see I have a face cam. Okay? So you can see I have this face cam of me seeing me playing the game. And this feature doesn't like come straight at you. So I thought it'd be a good idea to actually show you how to do it because it's something interesting. So first of all, I'm gonna open this project which I've already made. And you need to put in, so first thing I'm gonna put in is my iDragon Gaming thing, uh, the actual introduction. So there's all that in, I believe. Don't think that's it all actually, but let's, nope, that is all of the iDragon Gaming introduction. Let's see you all right. Yep, that is right, that is correct. So, bye. Come on, let's that. So, anyway, that is my introduction in the video. That's the first thing we're going to do if you want to have an introduction, because some people might not want to have an introduction, some people might. So, that's it. Then we need to get the actual main video. So, this is here. So, this is the video. So, then I'll paste that in there. And this, and um, before, if you didn't have face cam, it would literally just be this with me literally talking over you. So it'd be um, something like, hey guys, what's up, I'm Drummond HD, or Charlie here, and today we're going to be playing Happy Wars. And that's quite boring. So what I've done now is I've worked out how to do the screen recording, and I've worked out how to overlay a face cam. So if we grab the face cam of the video, and we just place this on top. Very simple. Now we need to get this correctly lined up. Now this isn't the actual one that you've seen, because that's the actual one that you've seen is actually out. So yeah, first the, the first thing we need to do is we need to actually so there's my workflow all set up how you normally have it. So first of all, we've got to make do is down here. There's something here with two little lines, and this is the inspector. So you can actually do command. You can do command fold open it, or just click here. So first of all, you need to make sure you're clicked on this video. If I just take that off a second. So there we go, this is open and um, that's it really. You've got your colour there, you've got your inspector there. And this is how it would normally be. But now what we're going to do is we're now going to open the inspector and we're going to click on this video here. And we're going to hit transform, okay? So you can do this and then you can see there's some corners there. You can use the corners to do this or you can hit show and there's scale by here. So you can increase it or make it smaller by here or you can just use the corners and get it to the right size you want because obviously you don't want like one that looks like this to you and you're just randomly there and also you can rotate it like that so you can have your face cam slanted like that if you want and you can have your video like this <laughs> which looks a bit weird yeah, but you, you, you can have that if you want um, so that is that, that is Thing, it, that is way, I guess, way the easiest way to do it. Now, if you want to be a bit more creative, you can use the same thing, but you can hit your um, distort. So, if you click on this video here, make sure it's open. If you hit distort here, the edges are available, and you can grab the edges. So, you can actually slant the video like that. And then you can do other things like that. So you can have like half of that like that. And that's a pretty cool feature. Now you can also use this to do the actual resize. So you can grab it there. You can grab the next corner and grab that there like that. And then you can pull the sides in like so. And then boom, you have your face cam. But then you can put a little rhombus on it. Which I suppose is kind of cool. But you can probably, if you want to get it to resize like that, you, I'd probably say get the transform way to do it. And that's that really. But you can also do really weird things like almost ever like it's it's sideways and stuff. So like that. And just have that just randomly floating there. And that's pretty cool. But that is the way to oops. Uh, so really that is the easiest way to do um base camp in Final Cut Pro 10. Now if you want to see 
this Happy Wheels video, which as you can see by here, is fully edited and nicely and got an introduction. <laughs> That is the actual that is the actual video that was launched um yes they so if you want to go check that out i'll leave a link in the description so you can go and see that or if you just you know want to and if you want to subscribe to iDragon gaming i'll also leave a link to iDragon gaming down below um so anyway guys that's been it for this video so i guess as always um please like and subscribe oh wait a quick reminder, if you want to ask me any questions for my 200 subscribers Q&A, go over to the main channel and click on the 200 subscribers uh, 200 subscribers Q&A announcement and drop your questions in there. You can also contact me via social media. Leave them in the comments here, you know, leave them anywhere where I can get hold of you and then um, that. So anyway guys, as always, uh, please like and subscribe, it does help me a lot. And um, thanks for watching and um, peace.